Hello, PC Smoker back again on this video. I'm showing a release rind. And probably what's so special about this pipe is that this is the first pipe that was that I bought used. It's a pipe show here in town. I'm trying to look for another pipe. And the owner show me this one and I have a few reservations about it but I've grown to like it and what I found when I found a little surprise with this is that normally when I take off the stem if I turn it to the right the entire stem comes out but if I turn it to the left uh, part of the stem stays, stays in the um, shank that's because this can have a filter with it as well. And since most of my pipes don't have filters, well, since all my pipes don't have filters, this one will stay non filter as well. Ah. <sighs> On this video, well, I decided to um, dedicate to all the dads out there, all the pipe something dads out there, present and future, I hope. And for our pipe pottery, well, this doesn't concern you because, well, I hope it does concern you. <laughs> but anyway. Somewhere probably in the back of our heads, when we become dads and have sons, the one and we do smoke pipes and cigars. Uh, probably the one thing that's stuck in the back of our minds that probably won't service till our boys get to that certain age. For me, it was for me it was twelve. Everybody else was somewhere between twelve and eighteen, and that is. What are we going to do when our boy says, Dad, I want to smoke a pipe? And they're under 18. That's a good question because <laughs> there's, there's a lot of answers to be involved from it. Um, what I want to know should be like, say, like, uh, if you were a pot smoker and your kid started smoking pot, you know, that's kind of like you're being hip. It's being hypocritical, really, because you figure, well, you never thought something like that will ever happen to your kid, but then it does happen. What are you going to say? Because, you know, you don't want them to do it, but then again, you did it that age, and they do it at that age. So we're going to do. And I looked through some of the comments that were made when Pipe Friend did a video on underage smoking, and one comment I found is that. You know, one father allowed his underage son to smoke a pipe whenever they're out together. And another comment is, you know, gotta have rules. And I think that's probably the best thing to do is because, you know, if your kid's under 18 and they want to smoke a pipe and are smoking pipes or cigars, there should probably be, there should be some rules to it. Like, well, you did, well here in Illinois, you can't buy tobacco when you're under 18. Because one time, <laughs> one time I was at a gas station, a high schooler wanted to buy smokes, but all she had was a high school ID, and she didn't have a driver's license, so obviously she was about under, under 16. But she was desperate, but you know, lost law. Can't you can only buy 
tobacco, you have the proper ID, which is a driver's license, state ID, military ID, and passport. That's it. So she went away. Anyway, back to our story. Um, really, you have to set some ground rules because that's to me that's probably how things work. Of course, it never worked for me because you know I kept it a secret for a long while until. I got past 21, and of course, like I said, my parents found out for real just before they died, and probably the rule I would have for my son would be probably that, that yeah, I'll let him. Because, you know, when we we were kids and we started smoking, you know, we always sneak around and we find a way to smoke something. So, I would say something, Grandma was saying, yes, like the one comment that was made on Pipe Red, is that I would send, would set rules, like, you'll smoke when mom's not watching and at certain times and then when you're 18 happy birthday go right ahead and do it not gonna stop you so you know basically that probably I mean that's probably what's gonna happen to all of you when your kid will start wondering or start experimenting with the pipe or cigars that, you know, if you find out, you know, kind of have to harken back to when you first started and then based on what you know now and you know back then, you're just going to have to set some rules and, and hopefully your son will, do, will go buy it. And like I say, you know, my like I said, my dad never found out that I would smoke was smoking pipes at all and cigars until shortly before they died. And he died uh, around eight AM Christmas Eve, twenty oh eight. Merry Christmas, mm hmm So that's kinda of, kinda of gave me a harking back to a Christmas Carol in which Jacob Marley died, of course, on Christmas Eve, and then seven years later, he came back to spook Scrooge. So, and said it was going to be visited by three spirits. So, probably come, come Christmas Eve in 2015, I'll be somewhere, probably coming home from, from work or church or wherever. It'll be at late at night, and I'll see my dad's face on a doorknob or peephole. And of course, he'll come right on in and say, You're going to be busy by three spirits. And I'll say, I don't have time for it. Uh, with these three spirits? Yes, you will. It'll be Jack Beam, Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, Jack Daniels, and Captain Morgan. Those are the speed, three spirits you're going to see. And I'll probably say, well, let's party. <laughs> anyway, you know, I don't miss my dad that much because, you know, biologically, you know, we're, we got half our mom and half our dad. And the um, dad part I have is this right here. The bald spot and the thinning right here. This got, probably got more thinner as I Gave myself more of a haircut. And of course, with my mom, well, unfortunately, the face. So I don't, I won't be missing them that much at all. But anyway, to, to all you pipe smoking dads, happy Father's Day. And for us who want to have a kid, 
and they have a Father's Day also, so we can get a nice little pie for Father's Day. Uh, we better start doing it right, right away. So until next time, keep the home brides burning and talk to you later.